Morning, shoppers. Morning. Has anyone seen the overnights? No. no. We creamed them. Oh, good. Right. Last night was a rerun, which says to me that I... Do I smell onions? Excuse me. Hmm? May I ask what you're doing in my boardroom? You may proceed, mon ami. I'm gonna have to start by apologizing. My friend has a bit of a penchant for the dramatic. Oh, come on. Would you, would you, would you, would you, would you get it? Get it? Would you just speak? Yes, would you? <clears throat> Movie. The Golden Calf, created by Nancy Goldruff, a former kindergarten teacher in 1989, bought by the Complex Corporation in 1991, broadcast nationally as the movie Funtime Hour. Since its inception, has spawned two theatrical films, 16 records, eight primetime specials, and a library of price-to-own video cassettes. Not to mention bi-coastal theme parks. Dubbed Movie World. Did, uh, did I miss anything, or? You forgot Movie Magazine. Damn it. Now, is there a point to this? You and your board are idolaters. I can't believe you forgot the magazine. It's you. Do you know much about voodoo? It's a fascinating practice. No real doctrine of faith to speak of, more an arrangement of superstitions. The most well-known of which is the voodoo doll. You see... <laughs> a mock-up of an individual is subjected to various pokes and prods. The desired result is that the individual will feel those effects. Call security. Yes, sir. Now. All lines are currently down. Okay. Look, I'm gonna have to Would you just knock it off? Hey, you're doing it again. Now stop. Fuck. What did we talk about? <clears throat> you are responsible for raising an icon which draws worship from the Lord. You have broken the first commandment. More than that, I'm afraid not a one of you passes for a decent human being. Your continued existence is a mockery of morality. Like you, Mr. Burton. Last year, you cheated on your wife of 17 years eight times. You even had sex with her best friend while you were supposed to be home watching the kids. <laughs> In the bed that you and your wife share, no less. <laughs> Mr. Newman, you got your girlfriend drunk at last year's Christmas party and then paid a kid from the mailroom to have sex with her while she was passed out just so you could break up with her guilt-free when she sobbingly confessed in the morning. She, uh, killed herself three months later. Mr. Brace disowned his gay son. Very compassionate, Mr. Brace. Mr. Ray put his mother in a third-rate nursing home and used the profits from the sale of her home to buy an oriental rug for himself. Heaven. Up, uh, Mr. Barker flew to Thailand on the company account to have sex with an 11-year-old boy. Mr. Holtzman okayed the production of movie dolls for materials he knew to be toxic and unsafe because it was, survey says, less costly. You, on the other hand, are an innocent. You lead a good life. Good for you. But you... Mr. Whitland, you have more skeletons in your closet than this assembled party. I cannot even mention them aloud. You're his father, you sick fuck. <laughs> good. Not bad, right? That's great work. Very good. Very good. Well, <laughs> alone at last. You know, with the exception of Miss Price here, there isn't a decent human being amongst you. Not one. Do you know what makes a human being decent? Fear. And therein lies the problem. 
none of you has anything left to fear anymore. You rest comfortably in seats of inscrutable power, hiding behind your false idol, far from judgment, lives shrouded in secrecy, even from one another. But not from God. Nope. <laughs> Forgot my little voodoo doll. And it really looks just like you, doesn't it? Look, at I mean, I, if I believed enough in this, I wonder. I do believe in this. Don't run! Don't run! Sphinx! Sphinx! All of you, Sphinx! Oh, and you! I do believe in this. What is that? 